Oh, hey there. Oh, hey, Dr. McBurney. How's it going? Oh, pretty good, you know. I'm just getting ready for M&M &M meds later on today. M and what now? You know, uh, M&M. &M. Oh, I love that guy. May I have your attention, please? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Uh, no. Uh, how did you get into med school again? M&M &M is morbidity and mortality. Oh, right. Morbidity and mortality. Uh, just what is that again? You haven't ever been to M&M? &M? Um, nope. It's a meeting where we get together to review our complications. Huh, that must be a pretty short meeting. Uh, how come? Well, complications are pretty rare, right? And good surgeons don't get complications. Hmm, this sounds like a teachable moment to me. Let me buy you a coffee. So, let's talk about complications and the M&M. &M. Okay, so first off, everyone gets complications sometimes. Really? I thought if you did the surgery right, then you would never get complications. What do you think we are? Superheroes? So, it's not like that. In fact, the only way to avoid complications is not to do any surgery at all. So, you mean every surgeon gets complications? Yes, every surgeon gets complications at some time or another. But, a complication means someone made a mistake, right? So all these surgeons are making mistakes? Look, we're all human and all of us make mistakes from time to time, but complications are not the same as mistakes. Sometimes you can do everything right and your patient still gets a complication anyway. So wait, you do everything right but you still get a complication? I mean, how do you deal with that? Well, the first thing is you got to accept that sometimes your patients will get complications. It's going to happen. And it can be hard to accept that, especially early in your practice. But remember, it does happen to everyone who does surgery. Second thing is you got to avoid all the complications that can be avoided. If you know your patient is at risk of getting a complication, sometimes you can take actions that will head the complication off at the pass. Third thing is to be vigilant so that you recognize complications as soon as they occur. That way you can deal with them early before your patient gets really sick. Okay, so what's M&M &M for then? M&M &M is when the surgical team gets together to discuss all of the complications we've encountered. Some teams meet monthly, some every week. It's just important to do it often so we don't forget about any complications that we encounter. And the whole team is there. Residents, students and surgeons as well. Some teams bring nursing staff or doctors from other specialties like ICU or eMERGE. It's a closed door meeting so no one else is allowed in. What happens in the room stays in the room. Wow, like Vegas? Yes, exactly like Vegas. So that lets us present our complications. Someone from each team gets up and tells the patient's story from beginning to end and we discuss what happened at each stage. Complications are classified using the Clavian Dindo scale from 1 to 5. So a Clavian 1 is a minor complication, kind of not a big deal but it slowed down the patient's normal recovery process. Clavian 2 is a complication which was treated non-surgically like a wound infection or a urinary tract infection maybe. Clavian 3 is a case where the patient had to have more surgery, say for bleeding or something like that. A Clavian 4 is a more serious life-threatening complication where the patient got really sick but still survived. Maybe they had a leak from an anastomosis or something. And then a Clavian 5 is the worst. It's a case in which the patient actually died from the complication. Wow, have you ever had one of those? Oh yeah, they're pretty rare, but yeah, sometimes. I've had a few over the years. That must be awful. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It takes a while to get over it, especially the first time. Uh, we do have a pretty supportive team here, though. We talked a lot, and my colleagues helped me through it. And then you have to present the case at M&M? Well, usually it's not me. It's usually my chief resident. She gets up and she gives some background on the case, about the patient's condition prior to surgery, why we decided to do the operation, and any other relevant details. And then we present the complications and what happened. We bring the x-rays and all the other details of the case. And then the whole team gets to discuss the case. I get to comment and the other surgeons get to ask questions. What kinds of questions? Oh, stuff like, why did you do that? Or what were you thinking about when that happened? We are supportive to each other, but we also keep each other accountable. It's a pretty tough job and complications happen to everyone, remember? So it's good to talk about things as a team when they go wrong.
And what if someone made a mistake? Well, it's not really like that. We work as a team and we learn as a team too. The key question really is, what do we learn from this case? And if this were to happen again, would we do something differently to stop the complication from happening? Wow, I bet you learn lots. Oh yeah, you learn a lot at m and It also motivates you to avoid complications in the future. No one really wants to be the one being grilled at m and So, have you heard enough? Are you ready to go to your first m M&M and conference? Yeah, I think I'm ready. It sounds scary, but a little bit cool too. Hey, can we get some candy on the way? Okay, as long as it's not M&M's. Mm-hmm.